crabs. Here we are. Dangan Rumpa Two. Goodbye, despair. All right. Um, so this is the continuation of a game of Dangan Rumpa, the first game, uh, which I played on my own. I would not replay it for um, this channel. I'm sorry. You can play it yourself. But we're gonna play Dangan Rumpa Two together. Um, which I haven't played yet. Uh, I already recognized some characters from the intro though, so I guess we're in this mess again. This is a game that I'm gonna play for the Halloween month. Uh, I'm not really doing a Halloween month, but I thought we could try to be a little bit spooky at least. And this is my game of choice, I guess. Alright, let's just start. Um, I do remember the story of the last game. The ending was pretty weird and wild. Uh, I also played like the bonus mo mode after the ending, I guess and uh, got all achievements but uh, I'm, I think the game is probably gonna catch up, up to speed because I already saw um, that we are the same character from the first game so I guess they're gonna uh, just uh, retell the story and I'm just gonna fill in the gaps uh, fill in the gaps that they leave open so let's just start um, I'm gonna put a disclaimer here just so you are aware this is a game that can be kind of disturbing it is a game about murder or like well about it's also a bit about philosophy and human nature and stuff but yeah there will pe people will die basically is what i'm saying and we will see their dead bodies um it is kind of censored in the sense that uh, the blood is i think pink but yeah um it can be quite disturbing i'm just saying that so uh, nobody gets disturbed please be mindful of yourself now let's give this a try and I'm not saying that to deter anyone, by the way. I'm still, I'm myself kind of faint of heart, but I really like uh, the detective parts of this game and uh, the trials, which are probably in this again. Anyway, um, enough said uh, from the beginning. Uh, English audio, yes. Logic difficulty. Ooh. Is there any achievements for going for the higher difficulties? Let me check. Okay, so from what I can gather online, um, there is no achievement for going for the meaner difficulties. The only challenge, like they just pose more of a challenge. And apparently this game is harder than the first one. Uh, so I think we're gonna stay on kind for now. Um, because like chances are I might not remember things if we stop at some chapter and then months later I pick it late uh, pick it up again, which happens with most games uh, on this channel. So let's let's stay in normal. Um, some people even were stalled uh, after the second chapter and like it got exponentially harder. And I remember bullet time not being that hard, but you know, I'm, I'm we're just gonna we're just gonna stay on normal though that might be a bit too easy for our inquisitive minds. Hey. Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah. Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Okay, who's everyone? Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation again hey are you listening i don't understand why am i here what happened 
I should try to remember that first. Maybe how about you get up? You seem to be lying on the ground. At the ocean? At the beach? Um, I began to think, disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right, I... I... Okay. <laughs> the, the icons at the end. Dangan Romper 2, goodbye despair. Game start. That day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. And when that long awaited, uh, awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way that I can't really put into words. It felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Oh, this is gonna take a twist real soon. Hope Peaks Academy. That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will long to join a rap team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope and in doing so, shape the future. Whenever Hope Peak Hope's Peak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says... Oh, I skipped it. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm, <laughs> I'm in the footage right now. Um, so it says, until someone says... Uh, if you come here and manage to graduate, you will be set for life. Oh boy. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of, vari of various industries are actually alumni of the school. Well, that's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. And despair. <laughs> there are two criteria you must meet in order to attend the school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams to this ac academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That is how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope Peak's Academy, the school I desired more, uh, more than anything else. The truth is, my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Well, I can put that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special worth, worth talking about, I think. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. And formalities are always a little embarrassing. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity. Or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. That's why. To feel like a member of society. To become someone I can be proud of. I always wanted to... What is going on with the video? Is this a recording? Something's spacing out. For that reason alone, I wanted... I always wanted to... For that reason alone, I always... 
always, 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 until now. I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why I hope I might have admired talent, uh, individuality, but I have truly, uh, but I have finally, forever tried my best. Finally, came true. D huh? What is this? It's a door. There's a door. Still, I need to hurry. Because I need to go inside this classroom. Need? What need? No. I should hurry. strange so these are our new classmates I mean I <laughs> recognized one huh? who goes there uh. um are you feeling all right you look quite pale uh, um hey could you be you're also a freshman at this school right and then you are all see for yourself. We're all freshmen too. These guys, everyone. The freshmen who were accepted into Hope's, Hope's Peak Academy, the ultimates? I assume freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Gathered? <laughs> hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Eh? Uh, yes, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the Ultimates, but, but still, they're high school students like me. That's right, first impressions are crucial in moments like these. I need to act more confident. Thus, to hide my um, nervousness from the others, and while trying to do uh, my very best to act cool. I step inside, close the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. Anyway, wait, are we this character? Okay. I thought we were another character. <laughs> anyway, what just happened earlier? Maybe he's just the first victim or something. I wanted to be here and then the classroom door appeared right in front of me? As if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. Um, excuse me? What? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so is there like an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening right now? Hmm. Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? It's all clear now. Well, since you are the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. Uh, is this everyone? How do you know? <laughs> there are only 16 desks in this classroom, and this guy is the 16th student. Such it's obvious if you bother to think about it. Oh my god, who are you? <laughs> you look funny, you look like a little chef. Um, and just what are we gonna talk about? The reason we are gathered here in this uh, in this classroom. Yeah, I mean, unlucky you had- so like basically he was in the last game. I have no idea how we end up here, actually. Because I would be very vigilant after what happened in the first game. But maybe this is like an alternative history or something? I don't know, we will find out. First, I need to confirm something out of everyone here. Is there anyone who actually remembers how we came here to this classroom? Eh? Huh? We all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. And not one person raised their hand. I see. So before you realized it, you were in this classroom. 
then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you, stupid looking ones, would agree, right? What's going on? It sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey! Hey, what do you mean, stupid looking? So, in other words... The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness, and now you're here and you don't know why. This is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that it's true for all of you? That happened to me too, but... Hmm? Eh? The dizziness wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness. That's weird. I even if it's just a coincidence... Oh, don't no, please, please don't be related to Toga. It feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence then? Huh? Huh? Oh, you also look familiar, kind of. <laughs> but I don't think she is. So in other words... Meaning we can only speculate who's responsible for the strange phenomenon. Who, who's responsible? What is this? It feels like... This is going to get even stranger. Oh my god, jump, don't jump scare me like that. Ha! I don't know what you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. Huh? What do you mean? So what I, I mean, mean is... it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. What's that? Huh? What do you mean we can't leave? Impossible. I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but... Oh. It won't open. I can't open it. Huh? Oh, why? A little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go <laughs> to go take a shit. I'm sorry, my guy. <laughs> but the door wouldn't budge at all. But... Hey, hey. Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. I'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. What? Huh? What do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible. She's right. It's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't looked at all. Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. There's no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. Locked inside. Oh, I remember the tune. Oh no. I'm getting flashbacks. Oh boy. What, what do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. As though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? M maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? This is... Or perhaps, doesn't it make more sense to think that this is the entrance exam? The entrance exam? You mean, Hope's Peak Academies? However... But according to Hope's Peak Academy, no such entrance exams exist. What? They may say that publicly, but it's possible that it's actually a special entrance exam. That's wrong! What? What was that just now? Hey, bastard! Hey, badass, why don't you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Why do you... Okay. Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? Who is it? Um... Oh no. <laughs> Who's there? Who are you? Perhaps. It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk? Hello! No. Oh. Alright. Oh. <clears throat> All right, I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin. I think I know who this is. Yeah. Yep. What is that? Um... It looks like a stuffed animal. Oh, it's 
so much more. That's right! I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal! Magical miracle girl, Usami! A.K.A. Usami! I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher! Nice to meet you all! Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seen this? What's going on? Ah, I see it too. Huh? What's with the talking chihuahua? Oh, don't anger it. Eh? That's a chihuahua? Everyone! Does everybody here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I am. The singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. Uh, hold, hold on, let me process this first. Okay, okay. Um, uh, what do you guys think? I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. It's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like such a pussy in front of a, ch uh, of a child's toy. Hmm. Uh, e even if it's remote controlled, doesn't it look too lifelike? It's pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. Its movement and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just said, he has no idea of what happened in the past, huh? Okay, so I looked it up and people explained it like this. So this is a completely different class. Uh, the first game is uh, class 78 and this is class 77. Uh, but I think if I remember the, uh, the after game or whatever, the school mode or something of game one of Danganronpa 1. This is a spoiler, but y you you do stuff, you build stuff, and I think this is going to be used here. I mean, already we saw a teacher, um, so that would definitely be connected. I'm trying to make a spoiler free for people who don't know shit. So yeah, but for people that played the first game, you know what I mean. So I guess they're kind of running alongside each other, but I think the first game is a little bit more ahead uh, in time. But they're like running parallel. That's what I wanted to say. They're running, they're running parallel. So I think that this class, the 77th class and the 78th class, so game one and game two, run parallel, but the first game is a little bit earlier set than this game. Alright, enough of that. Let's just continue the story. So these characters uh, are apparently just uh, designed similarly so that you have a little bit of nostalgia but they're all new characters. Um, except for maybe a few, I'm not sure. Like people said one thing but also the other. I don't, I tried not to look at the names too much because I want to be surprised but yeah. This guy looks exactly like another guy though. Maybe it's his brother or cousin or whatever. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just said. Come on. It seems you know something about our current situation. Leave it to me! Of course I do! I'm the lead teacher of the school trip! What did you say? School trip? Come on. Hey, what do you mean school trip? A large group of students go on a chaperone trip with the lead teacher. It's the best event of the school year. We're not looking for such a literal answer. <laughs> now, let's depart for the fun school trip. I don't think it will be fun. I don't think it will be fun at all. What the hell? We are on an island. We are on a literal island. What? Huh? I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, my brain too. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set and what appeared before me instead was blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, White waves. Who is what? this? No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blatantly wrong. Stay 
calm. <laughs> There's no reason to panic. See? Look around. There's cameras everywhere. Face your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? It washes away everything, even all the bad things. Oh shit. Hold on, give us the details. Where in the world are we? Um, where, you ask? Well, obviously, where? Yahoo! Out where it's better. Out where it's better. Out by the sea. I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? Um, you know, your throat's gonna get worse if you keep screaming like that. Like but, but we were just at school, now we are by the sea, this is impossible. No problem! Please, do not worry. The school trip has just started. That's all. Hold on a sec! But like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You, you totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. Sh she's right. We're all supposed to be attending Hope's Peak Academy. I see! Oh! Hope Peak Academy. I see, I see. You don't say. Mm, you guys are feeling unsure about Hope's Peak Academy. Then, in that case, Alrighty. please forget about Hope's Peak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. Huh? What the hell do you mean we should forget about it? Come on. Hey, what are you? Just what are you scheming? What, what, what? I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within one, everyone's heart. No problem. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever. So please, there's no need to worry at all. Wait. Island? Did you just say island? Yep, and it certainly is beautiful. It was prepared just for us, an island free from people and danger. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Perhaps you brought us here to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other? Wah, 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 kill each other? Yes. No, oh, no way. Bloody business, like causing violence or inflicting pain, is a big no-no on this island. Even the word kill, just saying it horrifying, it horrifies me. Yeah. Yeah, so scary. What are you thinking? Then, what is the school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right now. Got it? While you all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. This is the main rule on this hard throbbing school trip. What did you say? throbbing school trip? That's right! Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about, free from pain, free from suffering. Truly, this lovely, lovely, heart throbbing. Wait, wait, throbbing, sorry. School trip is everyone's homework. What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then, let the heart throbbing school trip begin. It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then, just like that, like a curtain slowly sl uh, lowering, my mind ground to a halt. Oh shit.
Yes, please. Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too, since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? 